Muskegon Community College is putting down permanent roots in Ottawa County. The college is finishing renovations on a funeral home, giving the old building new life as a higher education center. New Ottawa County campus will open on Lincoln Street just west of US 31. 13 on your side's John Mills has more on one big reason the college made the investment. Around 20% of the students enrolled at Muskegon Community College actually live south of here in Ottawa County. The space where families once gathered to mourn, students will now come to learn. Oh yeah, we are very excited to open the space. We're looking forward to having our students in a space that, that they can call their own. MCC has offered classes from leased space in Ottawa County for 25 years. College President Dale Nesbury and the college's board realized purchasing a building would be a better use of funds. There was no equity being earned. And if we were going to be in Grand Haven and or more broadly Ottawa County, we needed to have an investment there. Renovations on the former Clock Life Story Funeral Home are nearly finished. The campus will offer a number of classes. Social sciences, uh, math, uh, physics. And when it opens, Nesbury says the building will be busy. We expect there to be roughly 400 students coming in and out during a week. In recent years, the college has expanded its presence on the lake shore by offering classes in Coopersville, Holland, Fremont, and downtown Muskegon. Well, we wanted our facilities to be near where our students are. Back on campus, the college is about to open this renovated space. The new art and music building is just, just gorgeous. MCC will celebrate the grand opening of its new art and music building on Friday, August 23rd from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. There's a 250 foot long gallery. It was a $9 million renovation project to provide new opportunities for students. For musicians, there's new practice and recording areas. For art students, there's a new 3D studio, wood shop, and kiln room. And Muskegon Community College students will begin using those new facilities three weeks from today when classes begin on August 26th. In Muskegon County, John Mills, 13 on your side.